Hi everyone, I hope you can hear me well. Hi, we're going to start in a few seconds. Well, actually, we can start. So uh, welcome to this uh, series of um, live coding sessions on Twitch. Um, we are in the middle of a series where uh, I, I build and design maps of science based on OpenAlex uh, data. OpenAlex is this organization that aggregates and makes available through an API uh, a lot of metadata about scientific activity. Uh, mainly a list of all journals that they can retrieve, you know, scientific publications, uh, scientific outlets, like journals and conference proceedings. A list of scientists or authors uh, that publish in these journals and a list of articles. Uh, so not just articles, but editorials, reviews, uh, corrections, um, but mainly articles. And they also have organizations and universities. Uh, but what, we, what I'm trying to do uh, one, uh, by working with you one hour per week is to use this data to create maps of science. Uh, which if I could just illustrate, let me show you a picture simply. So I just, uh, you know, do a Google search. Yeah, maps of science, they look like that. Uh, so networks, uh, they can be of many forms and shapes. Uh, the one I would like to build is the one where you see journals or groups of journals, we'll see and two journals are connected if you know a couple of authors have published in these two journals is if you have two journals and you have nobody who published in the two journals ever then the two journals will be disconnected and if you do that for all pairs of journals you should get uh, a map like this one like this once and why would you do that? Because these maps are then useful to a variety of stakeholders and users and uh, who can then overlay uh, uh, information on that. Like, you know, where do I publish? Where is my school publishing? Where is France or the UK publishing? Uh, how, do, how is this, how is this uh, evolving in time? Uh, um, what are the boundaries of uh, scientific fields uh, and so on and so forth. Um, you know, or who mentions uh, ChatGPT the most uh, in this map? Uh, just to use a, a very uh, cliche uh, example. So my goal is to create these maps and make them available uh, for free and uh, and in open manner, which means, you know, with the license and open license and documentation and uh, on GitHub for end users to uh, develop services on it. So we have just one hour. If I keep talking, uh, we, we won't do much. What I have done so far is, so this is the code I'm using. As you see, we have just one file at the moment. So it's pretty, I mean, in terms of coding, it's not super long, right? And yes, I have a big file. This file is big, but it does, it does very simple things. So what it does, you can see it here. Maybe I can zoom in here. That's even stronger. Yeah. What it does is we got the number of journals available and it was about 200,000 journals. Then we got the number of authors. It was like 1.6 million authors. 
then we got the list of all authors. That's what I started doing two weeks ago and I just finished that. The code was perfect, I just needed time to run it. So I did that actually yesterday, it took me uh, uh, 47 minutes to get to 1.6 million authors. So the OpenLX API is really nice. And also uh, we got the list of all journals as well. So where are they, if you are curious? Uh, let me share that with you. Um, yes, where are they? Good point. Oh, you don't see it here, sorry. Well, I'm just going to finish browsing my... So Maps of Science is there. Yeah, so I did nothing fancy. Uh, I have a, I used, I didn't use a database, I just used a file. A file of all authors, one author per line, and a, a, a file of journals, one journal per line. Oh, we can't compute similarities today, of course, I'm stupid. Anyway, <laughs> I just, again, I, I try not to work on this project during the week, I have many other things to do. Uh, so I, I need a few minutes to just load the, the project in memory and, and catch up. So we have a list of authors and a list of journals. We can't, we can't do similarities today, uh, you know, compute how, you know, are two journals similar or not. Why? Because we don't have the information of which author published in which journal. We need that. To, to compute similarities. So today is contrary to the title of this, uh, you know, I've put in on the stream and that I have communicated on social media. Today we are just going to do more API calls to OpenAlex to actually uh, retrieve this information. Uh, I think I'm going to again put it in a file, even if after that, we're gonna we're gonna actually uh, load it in a database. Uh, but you know, just to retrieve the raw information, a file. Well, either a file or directly a database. We'll see that. Uh, to, to, to. So what we need to retrieve is. So we have two. We have two ways. Either we take an author and we just list the journals where this author published, or we take a journal and we list the authors that published in this journal. In both cases, we're going to have the information we need, which is you know, a journal and the authors that published in them, <clears throat> or an author and the journals that published in. Uh, so which of the two strategies are we going to use? Well, we're going to simply uh, be driven by what's available in uh, OpenAlex. You know, is the OpenAlex API uh, offering any of this information for us? So that's exactly, uh, no, that's not that. So a work is a publication. So what we, in this, if we take this, uh, if we take this schema, what we are interested in is, uh, connecting authors to sources, you know, a source is a journal. So as you see, we might not have a direct relation from one to the other. Uh, you actually have a very, uh, uh, you, have an, you have intermediary steps, at least on this schema. Let's see, let's see if, uh, I suppose, Yeah, 
directly. Let's look at authors. Look at that. Works API URL. URL. So let's take this example here. We have, let's look at that. I'm gonna just put it in a tab and see what it, So it's what you see is a, is a well. What you see is what the API would return for a, a, the works of a single scientist. So you know it just returns text. That's exactly what you see here is the text that an API call would return for this author. But uh, you have plugins and add-ons in in Firefox and Chrome and Safari that help you actually. Uh, make this text easier to read, like that. Uh, so follow with me. Oops, oh yes, I have a, it's a bit more, it's a, yeah. So for a given result, we have the ID of the publication, the DOI, the title of the publication, the name of, well, the title again of the publication, the year, the date. If we just have the source, that would be fantastic. We have the source. Oh, don't we? No, we don't. I mean, not there. I'm sure we have it. It's super easy to find. Hopefully, author. We have authors. Come on, Clement, just wake up. Primary location, is it? No, that's. A host. Authorship. We don't, want, we don't want other authorship. Well, we have concepts. Well, that's super locations. Oh, we have works that are referenced. Oh, I hope I can just remove all of that. Counts cited by. Uh, I didn't see the, you know, the unique identifier of the... of the source. But maybe because this one has no source. So let's go to the next record. You know, source is nil here as well. Okay, let's. Okay. So it's not a good example. There is no. Okay, let's try that on someone else. So I'm going to open the file of all authors which is a big file. I hope it can be opened. Well, I'm going to open it with Vim. At least I'm sure it's going to be, uh, it's going to fit. Okay, I've just taken the authors that have an orchid number, which is not going to be useful here. Hmm.
how can I retrieve a s you know a sample of uh, I need an author that published some work. And I suppose if I do that randomly, it's not going to work. Yeah, that's stupid. No, no chance. Um, maybe I can try on Open Alex directly. And I've seen they have a UI now. Oh, it's here. So if I find myself, where is the UI? I've seen it here. Yeah. So let's say Clement Valois. Oh, well, that's fast. Okay, to Clément Levallois, interesting. Is it me? Not exactly. So maybe I'm the first one on the list. Oops. Yeah, that's more me. Uh, Open Alex, okay, I have my ID here. So we can try it there. So what I'm doing now is trying to see if the journal is the journal for a given uh, work is mentioned in the in the response. Host venue, maybe it's that. Yeah, 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 it's that. Fantastic. Okay, so we do have an open Alex. Fantastic. How do we? Oh yeah, I should I should do I should add API somewhere. Uh, yeah, API dot. So just checking whether this unique ID is indeed the ID of Nature Reviews Neuroscience. Yes, it is. So we good. Uh, what I we good. Uh, that's just a way to speak. Uh, that means that for each. For each author, I'm going to be able to retrieve the list of journals where they published. Okay, let's do yeah, let's do that. That's going to be poof. that's going to be interesting. <laughs> But I love doing that. It's just amazing that we can have this data at our fingertips. Okay, so I'm just copy pasting one of the methods I've used to fetch. Uh, you know, uh, this is the code I used to fetch the list of authors. So I'm copying and I'm pasting that right below there. Okay, that's pasted. I'm just changing now, and now I'm going to adapt the code to do what I want. So get all, get all journals. <laughs> Look at the name of this method. Get all journals from all authors. That's pretty ambitious. So it's gonna be. Uh, I, you know, I can ask for. Can I zoom in a bit? Yeah, I'm gonna not call for each author, I can batch and ask up to 200 uh, authors
or do I want to do that? Oh, that's complicated. No, 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 no. That's not exactly that. So, okay, so now if I have an author, I know how to retrieve their uh, lists of journals. But how do I get many authors at once? Well, I just see here, get lists of authors. By so it's not get list of authors. I can, what is group authors? Interesting. No, it's maybe search, yeah. So how many? Oh, that's not gonna work. So checking limitations now. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, I need paging. Okay, 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 done, understood. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use, I'm not gonna use the list of authors I have collected so far, interestingly. I'm gonna do a search. So let me check the... No, not a search, uh, just a list exactly like that. Okay, so I'm fine. And okay, then I do a... Well, that's going to be pretty quick, actually. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic! So filter do I want all authors? No, I want them to have at least two publications. That's what you see. Do you see it here? No, you don't see it here. Uh, can I zoom in even more for you? Yes. I want to retrieve all authors that have at least published twice, that have an ORCID ID, and which are cited at least twice, which is a moderately, uh, it's a moderate, it's a small constraint. Then what do I select? What do I want the API to return? And that's exactly the thing. I just want to retrieve the list of their back to the back. Okay. 
Oops, where was it? Yeah, I just want to retrieve. So that's for me, right? Clement, whatever, whatever. Yeah, that's me here. I just want to retrieve. the ID of the journals where they published. And I'm not sure I can do that easily, but I'm gonna try. Host venue, host venue ID. But should I add a, a dash host venue ID? Let's, I'm gonna try stuff. I'm going to also look at the documentation. So where was it? There was some documentation, select fields, exactly. More details here. You can only select root level fields. Okay, I'm 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 uh, embarrassed here. Hmm. That's too bad, really. Is it too bad? Yes, I think so. Why? The reason is that for a no, sir. Or maybe I can try host venue. I'm going to put host venue. Maybe, you know, it's not a root attribute, but almost. So maybe there is some, uh, you know, lack of clarity <laughs> in the. Uh, so it's not filter. Is it filter? No, it's select. Oh, filter and select. Maybe I made, did I make a confusion here? No, select, no, no. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm fine, host venue. No, no, it should be fine according to the, according to the documentation, that should be absolutely fine. So host, if I do that, and we're going to do a test here, right? Uh, I'm going to just get, it will return just the, the, the journals where this person has published. We're going to check that here. Yes, I should be. And if I put a, a cursor here, Oops, you don't see here. Uh, what should I do? I should scroll up. Yeah. So as you see, I put a breakpoint in my code where the code is going to stop executing when it's going to retrieve the results. What I want to see here is, does it give, does it give me the whole details about this author's publications or just actually, let me show you. I want, What I want is only that, you know, only that. I don't want what's above or below. I want only that. I'm pretty hopeful that's what we're gonna get. So that's the code. I should limit the calls to one because we are just testing here. 
So where is the number of pages? Okay, so I'm artificially setting it to one. Then I'm so I should all these calls we have made them already. I shouldn't do them again. So my code is gonna just call these things. By the way, it's just not really useful, but I prefer to do that. Okay, so it's gonna call all journals from all authors, <coughs> which is this method I have just created with you here. And it's gonna stop there and I just want, I'm gonna inspect are the results actually made of only the journal's information and nothing more. <coughs> I can't remember can't remember what all this code is doing, so I'm just going to launch it. So how do you launch things so that it stops at the breakpoint? You just right click and click on debug and it will stop it where you have highlighted the code in red. I mean, uh, hopefully. So I've launched it and when it stops it turns into green. working. Oh, let me show you the, the bottom of the... Okay. Okay, so there is an error and the nice thing is that it's well explained in the error message, so you can read with me. Invalid query parameters error, as I was afraid host venue is not a valid select field, which is super sad. Valid fields for select are ID, orchid, display name, display name alternative, nya 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 Works API URL. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, kind of, I think I made a confusion here. Where is works? Where is this thing dimension? So if works API URL, where is, the, I'm just copy pasting that here. And I'm trying to find it in this example here. Okay, I can't find it. So, um, oh, because I do a filter here. Ah, I'm stupid. Either I'm stupid or I'm thinking because there are so many ways to optimize, not optimize the stuff.
Yeah, you see, this thing is not this thing. Oops, you don't see, sorry. You can access the works of uh, Okay, let me tell you what I have in mind. So I, I'm hesitating between two things. Either I fetch, I, I loop through all authors, and for each author, I do a second call, which is fetching their list of works, and I retrieve in this list of works the journal names and that's nice but it makes two calls per author you know one call to retrieve a batch of authors oh, 200 at 200 200, many authors at once. Yeah, it's okay. And then for each. <sighs> uh, okay, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. So back to the code, what I'm going to do is, as I do here, right? Now I'm going to do that instead, that's a bit better for me. What I'm going to do is, as, as the code is doing now, I'm retrieving Authors uh, with like 199 authors per call. And what I want to select is not the, not the host venue. I just want to select, uh, let me show you, not that, not that, not that, where, where was it? So maybe something like that. Oh yeah, I should have. No, not that, where, 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 where? just need the example of a person. Oh. Yeah, so that's an author, that's myself. And for each author that I fetch, so it's each author will look like that. I just want the list of works, which is somewhere in front of me. Works, exactly, works API URL. And actually that's stupid because it Yeah. Okay, so that's really stupid actually. Because I don't really need it. It's just like, it's just, yeah, just like the ID. But 
you see the, the, the URL for, to retrieve the works of an author is, is actually, you can reconstruct it by yourself. It's just a, a static URL followed by the ID of the author. So it's just a convenience basically, but why not? So, what I want to fetch is only that. And when it has retrieved that, it should do a call on it. It should not do that. It should not put it in a queue. It should do a call. So we're going to create a Yeah, that's complicated. Ooh, oh. Yeah, it will get the list of journals where this author, so get journals for a given author. Ooh, and it should retrieve them only if they are actual journals. I don't want proceedings. Yeah. So it takes as an input the ID of the author. Author open Alex ID. And actually it does Every, it does a call. So I'm just going to copy paste the code I had from yeah, right there. Oh, I don't actually, no, it's not. There. The string is not the ID, it's just the URL. It's even better. But if I do the call without my parameter, ah, <sighs> So I'm just moving on. I want the ID actually. HTTPS, then API, then works. Filter. Author.id. I'm sorry. So what do I want to fetch when I have the list of, of works? I want to fetch the ID of the work. No, 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 no. I want to fetch the, as I said before, the host venue. Right, where is that? Host, 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 host. Uh, Come on, I had, I, had, I had that host venue, exactly. <laughs> mm. 
why is it unhappy? Oh wait, maybe just throw an exception. Yeah. So it fetches the list of host venues for this given author. So I'm gonna copy this bit of code here. Given result, I just get host venue, and that's a JSON object. So that seems long, but we are nearly there. And then for the venue I need the the ID, the ID, the ID, the ID. So if the if there is a host venue, because I would expect sometimes there isn't uh do what oh yes and if the host venue has a key called called what called id then then i should have a set actually Should I have a set or a list? Should I count the number of times an author has published in a given journal? I'm gonna say no and we can change that later. We just we don't count how many times somebody has published in a given journal. We just count the fact that they have published in this journal. How how we, how many however the the number of times.
And once we have the list of journals that a given author has published in, we return that. So we Is there a quick way to turn a set into a string? Maybe string, string join. I think so. I think that's the delimiter. I'm, I'm just doing it by heart, but maybe I'm wrong. So I don't need a string builder after all. So what was I saying? Get all journals from all authors. So you get an author here. Right, it's next author. We should call it next author. And basically, I do the call here. Next author get uh, I suppose it's ID. Let's check that. Where is the ID? Oh come on, there's not just a row ID. Oh they don't have my orchid, strange. Okay, so the ID is the last uh, part of the URL. So I just want the last part. Oh, it's an ninja, it's always a pain to get the last part of something, of a list or some or an array. So let's do this awful That's really awful, but uh, what do you want? I want part number. So if 
So it length minus one. Okay, so these are the journals for a given author, Woo, finally, and we want to... So we, sh we do have a string builder somewhere here, right? Oh, we just added to a queue, do we? So not just the list, but the, we need the author as well. Ah, oh, that's a bit ugly, but never mind. Uh, pop, 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 uh, pop, 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 pop. Okay, and then we process the queue. And that should give us the list of the 1.6 million authors and the journals where they have published. So I'm going to run it for, I should run it for myself actually. Okay, let's run it for, for just one page. Okay, let's try it. It's unfinished, I'm sure, but... Okay, so we are fetching the work of... No, no, not the work. We are fetching the author called... Please. Okay, I'm just copy pasting that in a browser just to see who this person is. Dorothea Taylor. Oh shit, she has 18,000. Who is this person? Names for life. Who is this person? Oh, that's maybe a, a company. Oh my God. Who is Dorothea Taylor? Okay, she's a drummer on TikTok, but not just that. Uh, scholar. Not her. And that's Dorothea, not Dorothy. Mm. 
What's the... Oh, there is no kid ID. We can see who that is. No public information available, even if she has a no kid ID. I don't see the host venue. Oh, that's a data set. Oh, host venue, right there. The names for life abstract. What is that? Anyway, okay, that's... So I suppose we should filter for individuals who have like... Okay, let's start again. So we should do several things. First, we should ask to retrieve more than the default 25. Uh, list of uh, works. How do I do that? Uh, works, 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 works. Search, works. Yeah, filter works. I want to have more than 25 works, I think it's there, page, per page, oh, I need to do cursor purging, oh, full. Well, I suppose we're going to retrieve only the... ...199 works of each author. We will not do paging, right? So, per page, I should add the per page equals 200. Per page. So, by the way, it's not to 100. And I can... Page size can be 200, not just. Per P. 
page 200. All right, let's put page like that. Yep. And can we sort them by maybe having the the most I can't have the most recent get list sort yeah sort great but I want to sort it So it's 23, and this one is 22. Oh, publication date, sorry. The sunset, 9, 1. Publication year. Cat said those, what does it mean? Publication year four, okay. Publication year two hundred and seven. So if I want to sort descending, how do I do that? Not ascending. So let's do that. Sort. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Get list of works. I think that's the thing. And basically, what do I do with the persons like this Dorothy who, who have who have more than uh, whatever Yeah, I want them to have published in journals. So how do I, not, not anywhere else. So I should also filter per work type. Filter. Type. type journal article exactly that's what I want and hopefully
I think that's that. Okay, and this Dorothy should, uh, well, we should not include Dorothy if basically she has zero. Okay. I should say that if host ID is If it's not empty, then return that. Else return uh, return an empty string. And by the way. If if it's not null and if it's not empty, do that. Okay, let's try again. This time, this Dorothy should not be a problem, I suppose. Uh, no, oh, I'm in the oh shit, I'm in the wrong uh, method. Oh no, I'm in the right, I'm in the correct method. Sorry. Yeah, let me finish that. Okay, so Dorothy, I suppose. But let's double check. Yeah, Dorothy uh, Taylor. Fine, so now we're gonna move line by line. Oops, what was the issue here? Shit, I didn't get it. Something wrong happened. Okay, let's start again. Oh, I get it, sorry. I made a mistake here. Okay, we have the ID here, then it's gonna do a call here. Oh, oh, there's a mistake. Type is not a valid parameter. Cursor for go by per page simple sheet. Oh yes, I'm stupid. Yeah, it's filter.
Yeah, something like that. The error messages are super useful. Okay, there is an error, another mistake here. Type is not a valid, what? Oh yeah, let me. Let me copy paste that in a in a text file so that host venue type. Nice, you know that. This is journal. I suppose it's journal host venue type. Yeah, let's just assume that. And let's start again. What? Okay, maybe it's That's complicated. Why is it not happy with host venue type? Maybe because I had a, a comma before that, I don't know. Uh, not a comma, a space. Oh, it works. That's just the space. What's wrong here? I think it's frozen. Host venue e size equals 10. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, okay, fine, fine with me. 
Can we see the type journal? Okay. Okay, so this is a, I'm not sure this is a real person, but I'm gonna check her work. What's that? Oh, that's a, okay, that's a journal. Okay, of course it's a journal. And there is an error at some point. stupid here okay let's start again How many results? Four results, okay. Okay, it seems to be working. Let's continue. So for a given author, we have that. Open Alex data, open Alex data, open Alex data, data. Three different journals. My only worry is that it might not. No, it will not. I mean, I'm going to have a memory issue here. Because so many, so many. So I, 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 I should not hold all of that in memory. I should uh, uh, off, offload that into a database while the thing is working. So I think it's going to wait for next week. Uh, because we got the basic principle working. I'm sure there are going to be more errors, but uh, pretty pretty fine now. Uh, pretty fine. Next week, well, yeah, next week I'm, I'm not going to do that uh, during the week. Next week I'm going to write the code to have it uh, run and uh, store the results while running in a database. I think I'm, I'm going to choose uh, Redis, which is uh, perfect for this kind of data and super easy to, to set up and use. OK, well, um, thanks for following uh, so far. And, uh, <laughs> and let's continue this long road together next week. Bye bye.